These are the staples that I eat every single day. It helped me lose 20 pounds. So if you want to see what I've been eating on a daily and some really good keto essentials, then just keep on watching this video. Where do I start? Oh my god, there's, there's so many. I'll start with breakfast. So every morning, I like to have a black coffee because I'm fasted, so I don't. I usually don't eat until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I put one tablespoon of the Kerrygold in my coffee, and then I will also put this. It's called Keto. It actually tastes really good. It's chocolate sea salt, and it has all the electrolytes. About a week ago, About a week ago, a week ago. I was laying in bed, and I had this horrible Charlie horse. It looked like I was in a scene from The Exorcist. I woke up screaming in pain my toes were like curled like this and it was because I was low on my electrolytes one of the downfalls of this diet so you need to supplement it tastes really good in my coffee so I just put one scoop of it mix it up and it has stevia in it so it actually tastes sweet and then I just like to add one tablespoon of this just to add extra fats sometimes I will use coconut butter as well just to get my fats in I cook my vegetables with this I've been cooking my spinach in this so this is better than bouillon it's usually what people put in soup to make chicken broth. I was reading on one of the websites, it's called reddit.com, and a lot of people were recommending this for <laughs> my leg spasm. It's actually really, really good. I put a cup of water in the microwave for about three minutes, stir in one teaspoon to one tablespoon of this, put it in a coffee mug, and then just leave the house like while you're fasting, and you feel like you're actually having a meal. Then at night, instead of having tea, I'll have this. First meal of the day, I'll have like three pieces of bacon and then while I'm cooking that I'll usually have a few pieces of cheese artesian wraps these are so delicious one of them's pepperoni mixed with mozzarella the other one's prosciutto mixed with mozzarella prosciutto mixed with mozzarella if I really want to speak italiano <laughs> I don't speak italian I wish and then the other one is sopressata if I'm saying that right? I recently didn't know the difference between salami and sopressata. If I'm saying that right? But it's actually really good. I like it better than prosciutto because I feel like the prosciutto kind of tastes like the smell of wet dog. <laughs> if you've ever smelled a wet dog coming in from the rain and then you could put a taste to that, that's what it kind of reminds me of, but not this brand because for some reason this one it tastes really fresh and really high quality So I don't feel grossed out with this one And I probably have three or four of these before I start cooking like the main meal So these are good for snacks or in between meals. These are so good 28 of them is 170 calories and oh my god three grams of net carbs for 28 nuts, that's so good. So this is a really good snack. I just can't eat plain nuts. Like when I was on like a bikini competition type of diet, I was in a different mind frame, but that was only gonna last two months. This I'm looking at as more of a lifestyle, a lifestyle change, something that I could stick to every day. I do not feel like I'm on a diet at all when I eat any of these foods. I feel like this is the one thing I could stick to forever. Like I've tried the HCG diet. It was just temporary fixes. It was kind of like just putting a band-aid on something, you know? All of these foods here, none of them spike your insulin. I feel like the main reason why people gain weight is because they're eating carbs and sugar, which spikes your insulin, which makes you gain weight. I feel like I'm finally able to eat food that's really good and I don't feel like I'm on a diet and I'm able to still lose weight. Also, if I don't feel like having bacon as my first meal, sometimes I will have these or I'll just have these for dinner. They're so good when you have no time. These are so unbelievably yummy. It's not even funny. I just put one of them in a pan, sear it up. Um, whatever grease is left over from either the bacon or from this, I will then cook my spinach. And then with the spinach, I will put this cheese or I will use Parmesan cheese. Then for dinner, I will have this grass-fed beef. If beef or chicken isn't organic or grass-fed, it kind of grosses me out. I've tried to go vegetarian, like back in the day, 
that did not go well because I gained weight from eating all the carbs. But the one thing that I really got grossed out from watching those documentaries was hearing about the beef and how if it's not organic and not grass-fed and not free-range, they're all stuffed into a big cage and they don't have enough room so they're stepping in their feces and then when they go through the meat grinder, the FDA allows a certain amount of feces to go through the food. That's how people get E. coli, if you don't know. So I feel like organic and grass fed, you know, is just better. No hormones, no diseases, no poop in my meat. <laughs> so I will not buy meat that's not organic. String cheese, this is also really good for a snack during the day. So I don't have all of these, these are just obviously options. I make sure that anything that I'm eating fits into my macros. I use my fitness pal. I'll only eat 1,000 to 1,200 calories a day, sometimes 1,300, you know, if I feel like my body needs it. But I will not have all of these things. So maybe if one day I feel like I want this, then I'll have this. Or I will have one of these little sun butters, but I will not have both. So choose wisely. These are really good. So the sun butter is made of the sunflower seeds, so it's basically sunflower butter. So that's a good snack, filled with fat, so it fuels you and it has protein, no carbs. And then this is like a, a sweet treat. Whoa. Whoopsie. Chocolate peanut butter. This is really good. And I'll probably just have this as a snack and I will not have the whole thing. I won't even have half the whole thing. I'll probably have like three or four bites and then I'm good. I'm one of those people, thank the Lord, that can just have like a few bites of something yummy and sweet that I like and then be done with it. I think being fat fueled instead of carb and sugar fueled definitely helps with cravings and helps me to like just feel satisfied and then like that's it. If I ate this whole thing, I would actually be forcing myself. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you're trying to lose weight, you will get to that point. I promise you, you will get to that point. You just have to trust the process. And once you start getting rid of those carbs and those sugars, you really don't crave things as badly. And you kind of know when you're satiated. This is a really good snack. So I'll take one whole thing of sour cream, add like a tablespoon into here, and kind of just keep tasting it until I get to the desired taste. Because if you put this whole packet in, it would be way too much. So this packet is the Hidden Valleys Ranch Dip, really low in carbs. And then out of this, I would only end up putting probably three tablespoons of this in my plate, and I would mix it with these mini sweet peppers. And then I'll also put some cucumber, slice them up really thinly, and have that as a snack too. It's Easter tomorrow, so when my family is all eating carbs and chips with the dip, I will be making this dip and I will have my veggies. So that will be a good little snack for holidays. These are also a really good snack for when your husband, your fiance, your friends are just eating popcorn and chips and you want something crunchy. These are chicharrones. <laughs> These are the barbecue pork skins. And as soon as I added this into my coffee in the morning, along with coconut oil, which I also use to cook and fry things up, literally within two days, I dropped five pounds. I couldn't believe it. I don't know if my body was just holding water and if I wasn't getting enough calories that my body thought it was in starvation mode and was trying to hold on to the water and the fat. And then once it knew it was getting more calories from this and from the fat, it actually released it. So this is really good. <laughs> Be careful. If you're first starting out, only use a teaspoon to one tablespoon per day because it does make you use the bathroom, if you know what I mean. So be careful with that. Then these are really good as a nighttime snack when you want something sweet. I'll have one of these, two at the most, when I want chocolate. So it's sugar-free dark chocolate. Then I have avocados. These are good. I usually have this with dinner with my ground beef, spinach, or I'll have this with the bacon, I'll usually have one to one and a half avocados per day. So with my salad, instead of olive oil, I've been using avocado oil, which is supposed to be healthier and supposed to be better for you. So I use that with a little bit of red wine vinegar, some avocados, oh, baby. Hey! a 
and maybe some peppers or cucumbers chopped into them. avocado oil instead of the regular oil and then and then sometimes I'll put some peppers and some cucumbers in that once in a blue moon I'll throw a few craisins like a tablespoon and a whole bunch of feta cheese in with the salad this is also really good quick on the go it's the broccoli steamed fresh with cheddar cheese and I'll put this in the microwave and it's good to go and I'll eat probably half of this so this is something really good to have on the go. I have the organic eggs. I'll have these, the two with my bacon as my first meal, or I'll make a bunch of these hard boiled and have them as a snack. I also have a recipe for these really good deviled eggs that I make with this, and I will just eat like two or three of those as a snack. So if you wanna see the deviled eggs recipe, then at the end of this video on the screen, there'll be a video that pops up and then you can watch the recipe for delicious deviled eggs. Apple cider vinegar. I'll have this sometimes in the morning. It'll burn some fat. Put one to two tablespoons in a cup of cold water with a little lemon. Sea salt, put it on pretty much everything. And since you're lacking in the electrolytes, once I'm done fasting and I start eating, I will put some of the Mio electrolytes in with a glass of water. It tastes really good and it gives you all your electrolytes. Then, usually at night, I have this as a snack. It's for cotta cheese. And I have that with the xylitol or, or the other sweetener that I have is erythritol, erythritol, I don't know how to say that. And the company that makes it is called Swerve. So I'll add some of that with this. And then I'll add some almond extract or vanilla extract along with some chopped up almonds, thinly sliced. And that's a really good dessert that I got from the South Beach diet. So that's my dessert every single night. And then once in a blue, I'll sprinkle in one tablespoon of these little chocolate chips inside. They taste so yummy. So yummy that I need to actually have four right now. Mm -hmm. But you have to know when to stop because it's a big bag. Then the last thing that we have is this beautiful canister of Tiesta tea. And I actually bought this on Amazon, but then I saw that they have it in Stop and Shop. And it's a lavender, and it's relaxing. And I put this in my little cup. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just from Starbucks. Put this right over my glass cup. It just makes perfect tea. It's so cute, and it's purple, and it matches my pink little tea maker. That's what I'll have at nighttime. So anyway, that is my shopping food haul. I hope that you guys learned a few little meals that maybe you can have that maybe you didn't think of. When I went food shopping, I was actually so excited because I was like, yes, finally, I got this down. I don't need my list. I know what I like. I know what's no carb or low carb, such good options. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I haven't had any cravings. I haven't wanted to even order pizza when my fiance wants to order. I'm like, mm, no, I'm good. I'll order salad though, with grilled chicken, you know. So I really think this is the best diet. I hope you guys enjoyed it food haul. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little notification button to be notified anytime that I post a new video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to help more people who are trying to diet and trying to do this lifestyle. And if there's any meals that you guys love and little things that you think that I'm missing on my grocery list that I should be picking up and that I should be trying, then please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and hearing what everyone else eats, what everyone else does. So please let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.